Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we have here I or AI Akino, Akeno, whatever <laughs> you pronounce her name. So we're gonna talk about her build, um, her strategy at play. So we start off with her skills and um, we move to her basic attack. So it's called Ace of Spades. Attacks an enemy starts from the front from the first enemy in the same line. Attack speed is fast already, so any um, increase in attack speed would be better for her because she is a militarist and uh, range is her attack. So, um, level two and three boost damage for basic attack is going to be a total of fifty percent. So, again, she already has fast speeds, uh, fast attack speed. So definitely uh, added boost would definitely let her shoot like a machine gun so let's move on to her ultimate so 13 apostles is her ultimate initial energy is 10 so charging is a bit uh slow for this but her energy regen rate is 10 seconds so that might actually augment her initial energy so attacks the current target and two random enemies and marks them for five seconds so that one that's a mark adds a random debuff for the following stunned one second frosted five seconds ignite five seconds 10 energy reduction which is actually painful disarm for two seconds and silence for three seconds okay so upgrade effects so level two boost the damage of the ultimate by 100 percent upon first release so the first ultimate will really hit hard and level 3, the ultimate inflicts all 6 debuffs upon its first release. So, first ultimate gives out all 6 debuffs. So, again, if she puts out her ultimate, um, there's a good chance that it could be game over for your enemy. So, again, she this is very painful. Silence, of course, you cannot um, use your ultimate. And this arm is, uh, you can't attack. So again, her debuffs are pretty much very, very painful if you're on the opposing side. So move on to her passive, which is Shadow Technique. Every basic attack deals extra damage to enemies that are marked by the ultimate. So extra damage for marks for those who have it. Level 2 boost damage dealt from basic attacks and Shadow Technique to frosted or ignited enemies. So for those who are frosted or ignited already, that's an additional 25% damage. So another uh, pain in terms of damage dealing. And level 3, boost attack speed by 40% for 5 seconds after the ultimate frosts or ignites the enemy. So this one triggers when your ultimate um, does ignite and frost. So again, a lot of... Um, a lot of goodies for her kit. Then last would be her special is Midnight Magic. Boost damage by 15 when there is no surrounding enemies. This is your usual uh, buff. Boost attack by 5% and attack speed by 10. Boost damage by 25% when there is no surrounding enemies or there are no surrounding enemies um, in the opposing side. Okay, so again... Uh, very very good um, skills um, there will be a catch later in terms of how we're going to be doing this or how you're going to level up her okay let's move on to her strengths and weaknesses so as you can see here um, basically no problem with attack and um, I think the only problem you'll see with her is her health um, needs to be improved survivability uh, wise as well so Again, um, your only problem is for her to stay long in the field uh, up until probably she could cast her first ultimate. Okay, so let's move on to her parts. Okay, so for her parts, um, recommended parts obviously would be attack speed. Uh, sorry, attack. Uh, attack set, which is four pieces. And um, the other two would be your crit set which would uh, you know in try to increase or um try to deal critical damage and increase that percentage no brainer in terms of her kit because again she is a militarist and she will have to deal big damage from afar she has to compete with zarola and um and miko for damage so again she brings a lot to the table aside from them 
Okay, for her badge, definitely we will go with uh, Eternal Phantom badge. Retors health equal to 188% attack and boost attack speed by 10% for 28 seconds after unleashing the ultimate. So this one should be her, you know, should be her staple um, badge. If you don't have this, um, I will suggest a replacement for this. Okay, the replacement for that badge would be End Time Ultimate Badge. So boost damage by 20% when unleashing the ultimate stacks up to 5 times and lasts until the battle ends. This is similar to what I equipped with Zarola. So those are your two choices for the badge. Okay guys, so as far as uh, team composition, I think she can be splashed with any team comp. Uh, I don't see any problem in terms of the team comp that you can provide her. Um, Frost and Ignite figures definitely are, you know, have a some kind of synergy with her. So I have Frost here a little bit with uh, Zephyr. And as for content, guys, definitely she's going to wreak havoc in PvP. And, uh, oh, sorry. in yeah, in PvP and any other content, um, what she does best is actually the buffs that she has so uh, my opponent here is not of the same uh, bp as me but definitely i'm just gonna be demoing how <laughs> she really wrecks havoc as you can see there minus 10 energy a lot of debuffs going the enemy's way so this game in this game definitely debuffs are king as you've seen with Sakura, um, she has been, you know, she has uh, closed out a couple of games for me. But definitely uh, AI or I Akina would be, you know, would come in second or probably first in terms of debuff. As long as you level her up. Okay, so final thoughts for I. Um... I think for me, she would be the first Night 9 figure that I would invest in if I could. The other one would be Chow Chow. So she would be the first, second would be Chow Chow. Her skills, her debuffs definitely is going to rule a lot of teams, a lot of matchups, and it's going to be a headache. Um, as long as you do get copies of her, she's hard to level up because she's uh, Night 9. That's the, that's the catch, basically. Farm her while you can in her current event. So I'll take you to her current event. So this is the one that I mean, the Spring Roll Festival Stroll. So I got her here for free. This is 60. You can actually accomplish all of this if you play this one, the Spring Festival Eve Banquet. I hope you guys have played this. This is a few days. We have a few days left for this. This was 20 days a while ago. Now it's 13 days. So one week has elapsed and you can actually get uh, more copies of her. So I still have a lot to get uh, copies of her here. So while this event, guys, is still up, I would suggest that you... You know, try to get yourselves at least two copies of her and at least bring her to uh, one star peach. Currently, I do have um, one yellow copy of her. So I only need one more copy for two stars. So again, she would be perfect. She is a perfect debuffer as long as you could level her up. At three star, she's already decent and already playable. I tell you, as long as she could really survive, the stars there would definitely help her HP, not so much her debuffs. I value her more for her debuffs than, than for her damage. So that is it, guys, for I or AI Akeno or Akino. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you guys had um, got some tips from this, and uh, it's there's still time to get her. So thank you guys for staying this far. So uh, while you're here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.